He has given me a new song to sing, a hymn of praise to our God. We used to, you know, meditate on things that were ungodly. We used to uh, serve the God, lowercase g, gods of this world, and, and we, we were full of idolatry. But he's put a new song in us, and that song is a hymn of praise to God. Many will see what he has done and be amazed. So when people look at your life, many should see what God has done, how he's brought you out, how he's transformed your life, how he's made you a new creation in Christ. Many should see it and be amazed. It says, and they will put their trust in the Lord. Many will see what he has done and be amazed. They will put their trust in the Lord. May your life and may my life be lives that the Lord can get glory out of. May we be the light of the world. May we be cities that are set on a hill. May we be the salt of the earth. May people see that Christ in us is the hope of glory. And if they don't see it, may we live that way. And, and we actually have Christ in us who is the hope of glory. Because many, some people don't like that. The scripture says that we manifest the fragrance of Christ in every place. The knowledge of God in every place. But it's perceived differently. Some smell it and they realize they're going to hell. Others smell it and it's a smell of life leading to life. So not everybody's going to respect the spirit of the Lord that rests on you when, when you are obedient to Jesus and when you're living for him. But that doesn't matter. We want to live for Jesus, be pleasing to Jesus, and manifest his knowledge everywhere that we go by living our lives as Christ has called us to live in purity and holiness and uprightness and doing good to men.